Spencer, this line's really long right now. Too. Yeah. I am dying for my Starbucks. Like, yes. I know about you. I seriously need it. I need it bad. I need to speed up time. Like, I wish I had that superpower. Honestly, that'd be a great question to ask every single person in line right now. So Spencer Mercurio here with In The Quad. I'm here with, what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay, Steph, if you could have one superpower in the entire world, it could be anything, what would it be? Um, I would be able to fly. Able to fly. Okay, okay, why is that? Because I'm a very international person. <laughs> I like to travel a lot, and I feel as though if I were to fly, it would save a lot of money. <laughs> it would save a lot of transportation, and I could just, boom, be there whenever I want, whenever I come back. Hi, I'm Abby Akins within the quad, and I'm here with Aaron and Aaliyah. Hi, girls. Nice to talk to you tonight. If you guys could have one superpower in the entire world, what would it be? Um, probably to read minds. Um, probably, probably because I'm always curious what people are thinking. Um, I think reading minds would be pretty cool. Um, I'd say the ability to read minds. I'm talking personal, private stuff. The stuff that nobody on earth is supposed to hear. I hear that stuff. What about that? driving me crazy. Even French poodles, I can hear it. Monsieur, I need to poo poo. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, I would have to say talk to cats because, you know, you just see them kind of lounging all the time. You wonder what they're thinking, you know, what they're up to. They might be contemplating all ways to kill you because cats are just evil creatures. I love them, but they're just evil. Yeah, I'm not, I'm probably not the best person to take care of a cat, so they probably are pl probably plotting to kill me. Uh, it would probably be super speed. Super speed, all right, why is that? Uh, because I like to run. Okay, okay. So where's the first place you would run to? Uh, probably all over the United States. I'm here with... Tommy Tran. And... Jacqueline and Teresa Wise. Uh, very nice. <laughs> all right, I like the attitude. So guys, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Um, probably scale walls. <laughs> Interesting. Call me Spider -Man. Spider man but that's already taken. No, not quite yet. I just don't shoot webs. I'll scale the walls. Okay, so you'll be <laughs> Spider-Man minus webs. Sure. Okay, I like it. How about you? I would speak every language in the entire world. You could literally talk to anyone everyone, then. Everyone, everyone, multiple times over multiple different ways. I'll email you, I'll call you, we can Skype. It would have to be flying. I think flying is majestic and awesome. And it's better than teleporting because it's very scenic and you get to enjoy the, the transit when teleportation really doesn't give you that benefit. That's very true. I never thought of that. If you're teleporting, like, you don't get to see everything. Does everything just, like, go dark? Does it just blur? Like, if you're flying, you can look at all the pretty little animals in the forest and stuff. It's very true. Very true. I mean, who's to know how teleporting actually works? But if I had to go for it, I'd go for flying. Um, I'd just be able to, like, go somewhere with the snap of a finger, just, like, teleport or whatever. I feel like I would gain so much weight. <laughs> Literally, like, that is why I have not gained the freshman 15, because you gotta walk everywhere here. Be able to fly. Like, flying is a general fun one. Um, just because I'm also afraid of heights, so I feel like that would help me not being afraid of heights. Transportation, or teleportation. Um, I have the power of teleportation. Flying. Why flying? I don't know. I like birds. Now I'm at the Dekai house with Chris. Nice please. to meet you, Chris. Okay, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, metamorphosis. I'd like to change into anything I want. That is very interesting. What would you change into, do you think? Depends on the situation. If I want to be loud and proud, I'd be a big ass boombox. If I want to be small, I guess I'd be a mouse. Invincibility. Why? I don't want anyone to see me. Is That's invisibility. I'm here today with Professor Bell. Professor Bell, so if you had one superpower in the entire world, what would it be? I would like to be highly caffeinated at all times. <laughs> And why, and why is this? So that I had boundless energy to complete tasks. So Abby, I feel like we got a lot of good and, well, various responses today. Yeah, I really think so too. Um, what would your superpower be, do you think? Honestly, I'm going to go with the crowd and say uh, definitely invisibility. Uh, just to be invisible and walk around campus, just not seeing anyone, and maybe even... Uh, just kind of scare a few people here and there just to see uh, kind of that fly in the wall kind of thing. What about you? I would have to say I want to control the weather. Um, I like, I don't know, I like the extreme cold and the extreme hot. I want to be able to tan when I want to tan. 
<laughs> and I can just stay tan all year round and just look awesome like I'm from Jersey Shore or something. <laughs> and then if I want it to snow, then it'll just snow. I can build like 50 snowmen in like five seconds. Ride those snowmobiles? Yes, mm. love my snowmobiles, it's amazing. I love it. So you guys heard it first, here from In The Quad at WCU-TV. Black, black, black.